Welcome to Senior Night at Meadville's House of Chills. It's hockey on Armstrong. Gary Clark with you tonight. The fourth above Bison and the Meadville Bulldogs. Both teams with their seniors out tonight to start their final game of the regular season. And for Fort LaBeouf, it's Captain Sean Skelly, Damon McGee, Alex Spader, Mike Woodell, and both their goalies, Lydia Stroll and Kayla McLaughlin, are both seniors. For Meadville, Josh Orr, their captain, Chase Vickers, Gabe Stein, John Gizzy, and Owen Miller. So the Bulldogs have a plethora of underclassmen on this team, as does the as do the Bison. So are right, we get set to go? This is a Lakeshore Hockey League game. Meatville in their white with their black shorts and the white trim. You're looking down on them right now on the other side, gathering at the at their bench, the Fort the Buff Bison. They'll be dressed in blue tonight with a white trim. Mark Yoder is our main official. He's out there at center ice. And there's a Bulldog Faith that you see. Those are the student cheering section. And that's pretty much everybody tonight that's here for the senior night on a bitter cold night in Meadville. Starting temperature about five degrees, going down below zero when we're done here. All right, here we go, opening phase off control by Meadville. And the Bulldogs will arm it, brings it down, pokes it into the zone. Kept in by Meadville. The Bulldogs 7-0-1 in the conference, and the Buff has not had a win yet. And that puck clear will be on the Meadville end, as you can see, and that'll be an icing call. And we'll face off inside the for the buff end to the left of the goaltender, who is Lydia Stroll. So a female goaltender, not that unusual, but not a lot of them in the league. Had over the years had several. Hardest part is trying to find a place for them to get dressed, et cetera, and they did find extra one extra dressing room tonight. And there's another icing right off the bat. So two icing calls just in the first 24 seconds of this hockey game. Face off again to the left of Goalie Stroll. Controlled by Meva. There's a shot that went tipped away wide. Back in the corner now. Near side. And the Bison clear it out. Meva back to get it. And a penalty coming up. No, that's a delayed offside. My, my mistake. And the puck cleared on down the ice, and the Bison will go back after it. And right back down the Meadville end. Barrett Hoffman, the freshman, there to pick it up. Far side now. Steven Schaefer, the junior. Schaefer across the blue line into the corner, the other side. Skates out in front and it's tipped away and cleared out of the zone and back to the Bulldog end. And Austin Guanson there to pick it off for Meville, the senior goaltender. And it'll clear it in the zone. Meville comes away with it this time. It's Cody Basilla up ahead. Because the Meeble on size, Jeff Millen. Lead the shot. There's a shot. Went wide. That was Cody Basilla. Here's a chance again for the Bulldogs in front. Loose in front, still loose, and a goal. And Meeville draws first blood. So the Bulldogs get the first goal tonight. And we will check and see who the. Let's, here it is out in front. Uh, a knuckling shot. The rebound loose in front and poked in by the Bulldogs. I believe that was Trevor Johnson with the, with the goal. We'll check and see. So Meadville gets first goal. Bulldog goal scored by number 15, Cody Pasilla. Assisted by number 17, Trevor Johnson. And number 16, Jeff Millen. Pasilla 15 from Johnson 17 and Millen 16. It came at the 214 mark of the first period. And Meadville's lead is 1-0. That puck again behind the net. 
Trying to get out front, they do at the point. Kept in by Meadville. Here's a shot, save made, rebound, swept away. There's a shot and a goal. Again, Meadville right in front. And so Meadville gets a second goal. That didn't take long. 241 of the first period. Let's get the particulars here from our ring announcer. Look out again, the Bulldogs again. Shot one wide. On the boards, kept in by Beadville. Bulldog goal, scored by number 25, Luke Triola. Assisted by number 20, Ben Murray. 25, Triola from 20, Murray. I didn't get the, uh, the assist on that, but we will get that for you. Anyway, here comes the buff down, his shot. Stick save, off the side. Here comes Meville back out. Gizzy on the run. Gizzy, drop pass, too far behind his man. And the buff will bring it back the other way. Skater two on two here. Now Meville gets the next guy out. There's a shot whiffed on by Jamie Summers. To the point, there's a shot. I think Guan's got a piece of that one, tipped it away. Around the boards, far side, controlled by Meadville. Lose the puck, and then out of the zone it goes. They'll give chase to it. Senior John Gizzy gets off the ice. Get fresh legs out there. Puck goes around the corner near side. Buff trying to get it cleaned out this side now, and the Bulldogs keep it in. Behind the net now. Out to the point. There's a wrist shot, and, it's, and that's kicked up and out of play. Wrist shot by Barrett Hoffman. Up and out of play. So we'll phase off outside the LaBeouf end. And neutral ice, controlled by Meadville. Not so fast, my friends. There's a chance in front, that shot. Wow, that hit a Bulldog and went wide. Here's a trip by, trip by Meadville. Chance for the Bulldogs, up ahead. Trevor Johnson. Pass over, shot save, rebound. Right out in front, nobody there to tip it in for Meadville. Here comes LaBeouf the other way. the point, Big Sean Scully, he's a big boy. He's a bruiser, that was poked up and out of play. Will face off inside the zone. He's one of the captains. Sean Scully, he's a big boy, number 22. There you see him for, wow. As football players go, he's pretty big, let alone a hockey player. Well, I was gonna show the puck. Scully's a defenseman. In the down the zone it goes. And hold on. Icing called. On Meadville that time. Some of the Fort LaBeouf faithful. You always tell the difference between a Bulldog fan and the opposing team's fans because the Bulldog fans all stand the whole game. Because it's so darn cold sitting up there, believe me. Here comes Meadville with the puck out of the zone. Get it up ahead. A little too hard of a pass that time. Behind the net now, in front, he may be there. But the point, there's a shot, and went tipped away wide. Luke Triola with the puck now. And there's a penalty coming up on Fort LaBeouf. Sean Scully's going to head it for the box. Fort LaBeouf captain will get the whistle for the first penalty tonight. I got a roughing call out of that. That's what it looked like to me.
Phase of inside the LeBuff blue line. 2 0 Meadville here in the first period. They scored 244 in, 214 in rather than 241 in. So, what, 26 seconds apart? It's settled somewhat since then. Is trying to get things squared away over in the penalty box right down beneath us. And discussion underway. I can't see how this is going on, but they're now they're ready to go. Amiibo, Owen Miller out of the point. Miller with a wrist shot, tip wide. By the net now. Brian Ray back behind. Me with the puck. That's tipped away. Very patient with this power play, Amiibo, the five on four advantage here. Far corner, back behind the net now. They'll move it in front. Chance shot, save, rebound. Oh, kicked away. Kept in by Meadville, though. Good play by Barrett Hoffman. Here's Meadville in front of the net. There's a shot and a score. Oh, they just pushed one right from the five hole and got the goal. And Meadville has the third goal tonight. There it is. Let me just take a look at this thing. They just shove it underneath. That was number 16, I believe. Jeff Millen. Look, I've got it right in front of me now. <laughs> that was much better for both of us. The instant replay. Brian Ray. Ryan Assisted Reagan. by number 21, John Gizzi. And number six, Barrett Hoffman. 19, Ray from 21, Gizzi, and six, Hoffman. I wonder how I had the other one out there, but okay. So Ray gets that goal. So three of the Bulldogs will score, and it's 3 nothing. Gizzi and Hoffman with the other goal. Six and a half minute mark. We'll call it. The puck goes behind the Bulldog Grab net. 50-50 tickets. We have been winning the ticket. Out of the point, kept in. By the way, it's kicked away by the Bulldogs, one of the guys up front. By the way, there's a power play goal, too. Winning 50-50 ticket. Back in the Meeple end. 3 5 7 with nine, the puck. Eight, seven. Three, five, seven. Poked in nine, by Meadville. Well, the arm is squeezed between two guys down there. They'll scrum for it along the boards. This side. Three, of the five, corner. seven, nine, eight, seven. Come to the scores table. And three, five, seven, nine, eight, seven. Or the buff seven. comes away with it. Here come the Bison. Jamie Summers leaves it back behind. The Bulldogs steal it away nicely. This is Cody Basilla. And they'll shovel it back in the corner. They give chase to it. Out to the point. Beyond. Bulldogs with the puck. Owen Miller, the senior. Slides in. Stolen away and out of the zone in the Meville end. A lot, of open, a lot of open ice here for the Bulldogs, it seems like, when they're playing this team. Well, they get a line change, another chance on the fly. They do, they keep it in for now, and they send it back behind the net. A good check by the Bulldogs, off the Owen Miller off the bench. The Bulldogs have it again. 3 0 Meadville, six and a half to go, first period from Meadville's House of Chills. And it is a chilly one tonight. Meadville with the puck, Luke Trill after it. Trill looking for a man in front, oh, he had a man on the stick that time. Couldn't get it to him. Near side now, Meadville looks with the head up, looks for the puck, walks in front, shot. 
Matt. Puck never made it to the mat. Net. For the point. We'll try it again as Owen Miller winds up. His, his slapper was blocked, and here they come. A chance for Darwin Mickelson. Goes in front, and no man there can get it to him. And the Bulldogs come away with it. One on four now. Let's dump in the puck and go. Gizzy with the puck for Meadville. Near boards. In front now, he had a man there. And Josh Orr, their captain, couldn't quite get it to him. Again, here's Orr again. Here's a shot. Score! Captain Josh Orr pokes one home. He has four, nothing Meadville. Boy, you know, my old partner, Denny West, used to say, if you park in front of the net, Good things happen to you. What the Bulldogs did here. As a shot and a score by Guance, or rather by Josh Orr. Meadville Bulldog goal scored by senior forward captain number 34, Josh Orr. Assisted by captain number 21, senior John Gizzy. Orr from Gizzy. 954 mark. And we are at 4 0 now. Now remember now it's seven, they'll run the clock, I believe it is. And they'll just run it unless the puck goes out of out of the uh, out of play. That's a ways away. Here's LaBuff with the puck. That's that puck in front of the Bulldog net, and that could have been a easily called. Amigo for a uh, two minute on the ice, but it was not. Puck is in the corner now. Chase Vickers after it. Me with the puck. Up ahead. And right back in the zone. And of course, with my luck tonight, I have a pen that doesn't work anymore. Perfect. We can tell you the Meebles leading 4 0, and here they come looking for more. Out for the point. Wrist shot tipped by Steven Schaefer. Chance again. Out for the point. Schaefer whipped on that, rather, Gabe Stein whipped on that one. And the buff comes down the other way. Stolen right back away by Meadville. Up ahead. This is Steven Schaefer. His shot score! Schaefer put one right past the glove of Lydia Stoll, Stroll, rather. And Meadville has a 5 0 lead. That comes at 11. Forty-two, we'll call it. Seven, Steven Schaefer. Assisted by number 29, Gabe Stein. Schaefer, seven from Stein, 29. And there you have it. Nebo with a 5-0 lead in the first period. The Bulldogs 8 13 and 1 this year as the Bulldogs. An icing call there. They have fared not any better as the Cobras. Or the Flames or whomever they play in their other league. Here's a shot from the point and the glove save. This time, Lydia holds on, and we'll have a face off to her left. We get changes, wholesale changes both teams here. Remember, the home team has last change in hockey, so major advantage in a tight game. And in a game like this, I'm not sure it makes much difference. That shot goes behind the net. Mevo gathers it in, goes the corner, but the Bison send it out. Back from Evo to pick it up, though. 
Nebo back in the zone. And LaBuff now will handle the puck in their own zone. Bulldogs hamper them back there. Lives all the way down the zone to wave off the icing. The boys try to give it away in their own zone behind the net. And they come with them finally. Off the board. In the corner again. Moses game and played in the LaBeouf end, and you can tell it's 5-0 with a minute 48 to go in the second first period, rather. Out to the point. Whoops, they lose it, and then they'll get it back. They'll send it back in, they'll touch up the blue line and get off the ice. Maybe a line change here with a minute and a half to go. And behind the net now. Going to get it in front. Loose in front and it's covered up by the goaltender. It's a goal. It went in. My, my. Six goal this first period. Let's do his credit for it. They poked that right in the five hole again. I thought she had it stopped. That puck was loose in front. There you see it. And bang, poked ahead in the net. I believe John Gizzy gets the goal. We'll see. 13-39. Six O Bulldogs. Goal, his second of the game, scored by number 34, Josh Orr. Or. Assisted by number 21, John Gizzy, and number 28, Cameron Betts. Or from Gizzy and Betts. One minute remaining in the period. One minute. All right, final minute of the period. And hold on, an icy rope. No, we have a net penalty call. Am I right? I did not see it, but uh, send the Bulldog off. Will DeArmond headed for the sin bin. That's a cross-checking call on the Bulldogs. So the first last minute of the first period and the first minute of the second period, Mevo should be down a man here. And that puck uh, brought out, there's a one, oh, a good slap shot. Guanza had to make his first save of the night, I think. One of them again, this shot went wide. So a cross-checking call on the Bulldogs. Well, the arm and gives the bump their first power play. Meeple's one for one. Here, Meeple will steal the puck away and send it down the ice. 36 seconds to go in the period. 6 0 Meeple here in the first. LaBuff trying to get it out. The Bulldogs get to it at the blue line. Send it right back in their own zone, though, to kill some time here. Austin Guanson will hold on to it. And backhanded by Meeple nicely by Jeff Millen. Back on. Three seconds ago, that's going to do it. First period complete. Meva with six goals in the first period and lead it six nothing. <laughs> 